All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, welcome, wherever in the world you are. It's just now server up and uh, getting my clients going here. Got some interesting stuff for today. Looking forward to sharing with you. Ooh, 50,000 skill points. Look at that. All right. Connecting. Skill points galore today. It's client right now. All right, so. Let's, uh, let's start out with the uh, new items in the game. And so these new items from the patch yesterday, if you're watching this on YouTube, it was a few days ago. And um, basically, rogue drone parts. I'm in drone space. Hello. Um, rogue drone parts. Components contained in the wrecks of advanced sentient AI rogue drones. Uh, it's basically the um, rogue drone AI chips. Um, it, uh, I believe, that's about the only thing that you, well, I mean, you get a little bit of, there's a little bit of stuff you get in loot from them. Um, so, yeah, here's um, Nexus chips, a couple of different ones. Uh, but then the Elite Drone AI, this is probably one of the most common ones you get. And then all of this stuff right here. So I don't know exactly what it is that's being turned in. But, um, but those are the those are the things from the drops, and then, um, or is this the salvage? This might be all the salvage, and this might be the drop. I don't remember, to be honest. So that's okay. Um, so there's um, there are several stations. Let's see, in particular, up, Upwell are seeking drone gravitron emitters. Okay, sentient rogue drone strains throughout high security space recently started adopting using them. Okay, rogue drone emitters. Um, God, that's none of these. Are they, is this something new that they're dropping then? Hmm. Anyway, all right. I don't, I don't have any of those. And I'm out in here in drone space, so what the hell? But um, um, anyway, we'll get to that uh, bloated. Um, so anyway, in particular, they're seeking the drone gravita graviton emitters. Sentient rogue drone strains so at high security space have recently started adopting and using them. So maybe they're dropping in high sec? Not sure. Um, Upwell will reward capsuleers who donated a uh, selection of these components with reward crates containing loyalty tokens that are exchanged for ISK at any station belonging to, the, to a member corporation of Upwell Consortium. So obviously I'm not gonna have any out here in null, not in SOV null. NPC null, there might be, but SOV null, no. Um, additionally, crates may now include limited prototype blueprints, uh, blueprint copies for small tractor beams. Okay, so let's start looking up some of these things here. Small tractor beams. These are new. I've not I've not seen any of these before. It was just tractor beams. Um, and. See here. Small tractor beams. Okay. 
Well, was it just tractor beams before? Because this doesn't look very new. Yeah, these have been around for a long time. So, prototype though. So, a uh, consortium small tractor beam. Maybe this is it. Is there any history on it? No. Okay, this is it. So, uh, by manipulating gravity fields, this module can pull cargo containers towards the ship. And optimal range, 28K. Velocity, 700K. Um, no specific requirements. So let's uh, look at the variations on this and let's do a compare. And so the consortium small tractor beam, let's see here, maximum velocity, it pulls it in at 700 instead of 600 from tech two. Um, let's see here. Activation times the same, meta level, optimal range. Consortium 28, where this is 20 and 24. All right. So, okay, not, uh, not too much of a difference, I guess, but um, a little bit. Okay, and then uh, capital tractor beams. Now, I don't know. Was there capital tractor beams before? There must have been. So, um, boy, a capital tractor beam. I've never used one of these before. I mean, conceivably, could you use one of these on an orca? Manipulated gravity fields, module can pull cargo containers towards the ship. Note this tractor beam can only be fitted on the Roracle. Okay, that's why I've never used one. I, I've had a Roracle before, but it was just always too hot using it on the show. <laughs> so, it attracted a lot of attention, you know. Um, all right, so only for Roracle. Okay. Um, ooh, it pulls stuff in fast, 4,200. And how far out can it reach? Whoa, 280K. Damn. That is some distance. All right. Look at what else we got here. Uh, mobile tractor unit that has been enhanced by Upwell thanks to their latest discoveries in Graviton research. Okay. So this is the one that I'm probably going to use the hell out of, or at least maybe. All right, so there's no orders for this yet. Um, and something to get to right away is they realized that uh, yesterday after they released this, apparently when you turn the stuff in, it was giving too much stuff back. I don't know how much. I don't know if it was 10%. I don't know if it was 100%. I don't know if it was 10 times as much. But anyway, it was giving some stuff back, extra, that it wasn't supposed to. And so they turned them off. Well, it's been turned back on today. So, uh, and that's what's in the patch notes today. Basically, they fixed it, turned it back on. So, we should uh, um, be able to get, uh, get these sometime soon. They're going to be incredibly expensive at first, you know. Um, so, all right. The... Um, let's see here. Activation delay, 10 seconds. Maximum lifetime, two days. Retrieval range, 2,500 meters. Max collection range. What does that mean, max collection range? Max, oh, max tractor range, 200K. Ooh, that sounds nice. I mean, although, how often do you go above the 100K that the normal one uses? Um, not in PVE, 
maybe clearing a battlefield or something like that. Um, the tractor velocity is 2,000 meters per second. So, all right, let's, um, let's do a compare on these. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's see, do they have any extra shield HP? Oh, the pack rat has more. Consortium has 30K, okay. Uh, structure hit points. Oh, they're also a lot higher. Okay. They all weigh the same amount. They all... Oh, look at that. Look at that. This, this is a pretty significant. So, the um, Consortium Mobile Tractor Unit has only way uh, it only takes uh, 80 cubic meters of volume i commonly carry a you know mobile tractor unit or a pack rat and those are 100 and 125 so more space for loot that's good um capacity they're all the same optimal range all right so um this is interesting now i hope that the price doesn't go this way too because i know it's a price here and uh so the the price on a regular one about 11 million on a pack rat 38 million magpie 288 million i hope this one's not like half a billion because then who's really going to carry one of these around with them the, the, as it is, the magpies, you look at those and you're like, oh, I'm shooting that one first when you come across them and they're, you know, owned by somebody neutral or, or hostile or whatever. Um, so if this, you know, faction version is a lot more expensive, then... Um, I don't see myself ever using it. No matter how good it is. Because I'm just doing it in PVE. And I don't want to carry that around with me too. I don't want to add half a billion to my fit. So, I don't know. We'll see here. All right. Armor hit points. Um, it's got a lot more armor and stuff on the uh, faction one. All right. So, maximum locked targets one. Activation time duration, 30 seconds. Uh, maximum targeting range. So we got, it, it's the same as the optimal, so I can turn that one back off. And what's the shield recharge rate? Same on all of them. All right, so there's the difference. We just don't know what the price is going to be. And so the price, uh, at first, it'll be outrageous because that's how it goes with new items in the game. But beyond that, you know, if they were, say, 50 million, I probably will use them instead of a pack rat. If they're 100 million, I don't know that, I don't know that I'm gonna carry that with me. And oh, do these have the tractor speed? Maximum tractor velocity. Yeah, we need to look at that. Yeah, because it's 2,000 uh, meters per second. Whereas um, the pack rat, which I usually use, is 1250. It'll definitely clear things faster. So, yeah, I don't know what my maximum would be. Maybe if I'm out with, like, my Paladin, which is already really expensive, then I'll, you know do uh something like this even if it was 200 million getting beyond that though i don't know you know because i'm gonna have to hang with it and i may as well just drop a cheap one for 11 million and go on to the next room and come back right so you know All right, so that's uh, that's interesting stuff. Interesting stuff for sure. 
All right. Um, yeah, it's much stronger also. Yeah. So let's see here. <clears throat> That's the new items. And now I've got um, got to take a ship out here. Do have an overmind. Yeah, I, I looked at all of that bloated. We can we we looked at all of it. Why did why why didn't I switch into that ship? There we go. All right, so I don't have a tractor unit on this. Maybe I should. Let's uh, stack up as much of this stuff as we can. I think we need a little bit more torch. Drones looking okay. So that I have it's all medium it's all medium all right looks like I am going next door to get some more stuff Aza, hello Oh, and where's my close up script? Man, see, this is one thing about picking up loot with the same thing is that sometimes you. Docking request accepted. You uh, accidentally unload portions of your cargo that you don't want to. Here's something I would really like to see. I would really like to see a. Um, the ability to have a container within here that ammo can just be drawn from. Um, and, and that would really clean things up and your scripts or whatnot. So that would be, that would be something I'd be very interested in, in, um, in having. So here's uh, tracking speed. All right. I got to hop into fleet too. So I can holler for help if necessary. Hostel in here. Let's see what he's doing. Help customer. By the way, Plex is on sale, and it's got the Kill Glow skins. Uh, that's what I call them. They're uh, Impron Outlaw skins. They glow whenever you get a PVP kill.
Well, they are. Let's see. We gotta go. We gotta go next door to buy some stuff. There's nothing at the gate there, so it should be uh, okay to head out with this. We're gonna we're gonna take this some gates, uh, but I'm gonna use a scout. So Don't I pretty I much think it. that I figured out what my uh, problems were with the game. Last couple shows. And while it wasn't using 100% of my um, resources on my video card, you know, the GPU was running up about 90% consistently. And I think that that's probably what it was. I probably need a better GPU. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm going to have to buy both of these. You, sir, rock. Bev just subscribed for 15 months. All right. So, PS Peb. Thank you, buddy. 15 months. About 150 gold. Everybody here in your honor. By the way, that reminds me. Um, so, I left very abruptly last show. We didn't even do the draw. And um, ended up um, a medical thing. I had to take, had to go to the hospital. And uh, everybody's fine though. So um, anyway, so that's why I had to leave really abruptly. And uh, anyway, we did not do the draw. So there is um, guaranteed the. Um, the participation trophy today exclamation point giveaway to get in on it if you haven't gotten in on it and then i added the afk award um which if we don't hit a hype train today the afk award will be given away and it's five hundred thousand skill points and it's new today so get in on that exclamation point giveaway and um yeah all right Buy. I think I'm just going to buy another 20 of them. I'm going to go kind of overboard on carrying a lot of this stuff. And then Scorch. All right. There we go. So I've got plenty of it uh, left now. And so now I've got a, um, I have got a escalation. And so we're gonna head over to that. And I'm gonna gate this thing through. So I'm gonna use a scout. I should put my scout into into fleet as well. Got a little Tristan here.
So I believe that there is a camped system on my way. All right, we are clear here. Let's uh let's take a moment here. I want to show something. So, let me uh let me dock this guy back up. Docking request accepted. And I have this guy out here. I want to show you guys something. I have a new overview. And let me load it up here. It's in live shows. All right, so this new overview that I've got, you can find it in live shows in game. That's L I V E S H O W S. And let's see here. Can I move this out here? Yeah. So this is uh, this is the live shows in here, and oh look at that! Look at how it highlights where my mouse is. It's kind of weird. It's an interesting effect. All right, so I have the Dragon's High Sec overview and the Dragon's Null uh, overview, and so I'm going to click on the Null overview. I haven't loaded it onto this guy yet, and so there I've loaded it on, and I want to go through and show you this stuff because uh, it's really quite nice and so I spent a lot of work on the overview and um, and really I think I unfucked the overview <laughs> um, because because you know there's there's a lot of things wrong with with the overviews anyway this is in live shows L I V E S H O W S is the in-game channel and then the latest um, latest versions are in here and so um, anyway let me move that back over here and I'm using the null one so the null one do we have any neutrals in here the biggest deal about the null one is that neutrals appear as orange which if you if you look at this stuff here and you are uh you you know you're trying to pay attention to local and stuff and you're in null it's really important to see the people who have no standings and so those people that have no standings are a threat in high sec they're not so this is the difference between the two overviews they're exactly the same except the null one highlights anybody who is not does not have a standing to you in orange um, and in in the high sec one they just remain the same gray but when they are orange they appear much better to you and so you can see here that in the live shows here opti here i have no standing with him he, somebody watches the show obviously because he's here in the channel but I have no standing with him. And so he appears orange. And that just makes it much easier to recognize when you have somebody in the system that is not friendly. And that by far is the biggest thing. So Fleet here shows you all of your friendlies. Everybody who's friendly and uh, different, uh, different points that you might navigate to does not show stations. Tackle here, you can see has nothing. Well, it will when there are hostiles or neutrals. Hostiles or neutrals will show up under tackle. So when the, when the battlefield is too crazy and all you see is this huge wall of blue and purple, you can click on tackle and it will show you only the people that you should be shooting at, which is very nice. So general here is really about navigation and knowing who's around you. Uh, blue for uh, people in your alliance, green for people in your uh, corp who are not in fleet, and purple for fleet. If they are in your corp and they're in fleet, they're purple. 
everything is just as it says. It's got everything in here. It's got all the moons. It's got all the planets. It's got all of the stuff anchored in space. Everything. And then mining here will show you... Um, well, there's no ore right here. But... Uh, it will show you the other people that are in the system, that are in the area on grid with you, plus all of the ore. And uh, then it doesn't. You notice it doesn't have any navigation here. It just has stations because really you're not navigating gate to gate while you're mining. And then loot. So loot also shows you who else is around, but and there's no loot right here. But. Um, it's really nice when you are in a um, in a site working it. You can click on the loot tab. It'll show you all the wrecks. You can easily see which ones have loot, which ones don't. You can easily see containers. And then if somebody else comes into your site, you will see them as well. So um, that's, that's pretty nice. Anyway, that is the overview of the overview. Uh, the HiSec one does the same thing. The NullSec one, it uh, shows neutrals as orange. So anyway, uh, I spent a lot of time going through the, this. Every ship is listed in here. Every structure type is listed in here, everything. So again, that's in-game channel live shows, L-I-V-E-S-H-O-W-S. -E -S. You can get it in there. And uh, when I update it, I'll update the date as to when it's updated. And so you'll know if there's a new version, if we've made any revisions. Um, most likely the next revision will be when they add new ships or structures, something like that. Hold just a second.
All right, sorry about that. Helping out a customer. All right. Yeah, how do you get into the channel? Yeah, you hit the little plus sign to open a new channel and then type in live shows, L-I-V-E-S-H-O-W-S -S, and uh, it will uh, then give you the option to join the channel. And that's where we use that channel for, you know, if somebody wants, you know, send me a fit or something like that while I'm doing the show, I look there. Um, and sometimes some other stuff, so. Right. Now. And then you can click the overview and you can try it. If you don't like it, there's an option to, sw to switch back to what the overview you had prior. There's, a, there's an overview history and you don't like it for some reason, you can just click on it and click on the previous one, go back to it. So you don't, uh, you don't have to mess yourself all up if you uh, get in there and then you can't get your other one back because you don't know where you got it or you built it yourself or whatever. So. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can make this journey again. Orb drive active. Orb drive active. Scout through first. Color change. The uh, color change on stuff. It um, it uh, requires a session change more than just docking and undocking. Uh, it uh, it requires actually to do a um, client reset or you have to encounter the person for the first time. So, you can overuse a game in itself. Yeah, so I think I won that game. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Orb drive active. Pretty sure that the station or the system next door is camped. Docking request accepted. And the Orb scout is active. here. who this person is. They are the scout. Look at all the hostels in here. Okay. Drive active. 
uh, think about what to do with that. I don't necessarily want to take the Paladin through here gate to gate with these guys. Feel like that uh, could be risky. Docking request accepted. It's had war targets since yesterday evening. Hmm. What do we think they're doing in here? They're doing anything? So these these guys they obviously survived downtime. You know, so downtime came and went and they logged back in again. Hmm. All right. Switch focus here for a minute. If you're watching on uh, YouTube, wait for the next episode.